Hey guys, this is the AC Service Tech, and today what we're looking at is the flame rectification process. I want to describe um, how that flame rectification process is happening here. Uh, but basically, you have this wire right here. This wire right here attaches to a flame sensor rod. Okay, all this is is a stainless steel rod. And this right here is um, porcelain and it, or ceramic. And basically, what is what what it's doing is it's isolating the rod and the voltage that the control board or module is putting into um, the the burner or flame area. It's isolating that from the ground, all right? Because you want to put the AC voltage into the flame, all right? Um, when you do that, when you put 90 to 110 volts into the flame, the actual voltage rectifies, okay? And and it's going to go towards the larger surface area, all right, which in this case is going to be the burner retention head inside this this box right here. So, right here is the burner retention head right here, and here's the flame rod. Okay, so as the flame shoots this way, it goes through the flame rod. The flame rod is just a stainless steel rod, and if oxidation builds up on it, uh, you're not going to have the voltage going into the flame properly. Likewise, in the burner retention head, if um, there's oxidation and rust on that, it's hard to read your DC uh, microamps. Okay? So what happens is 90 to 110 volts goes through the rod into the flame. It travels in the flame through the carbon, okay, that's in the flame while it's running. And, it, and it's seeking out the larger surface area metal, okay. When it's doing that, it's, it's changing from alternating current, which is positive, negative, positive, negative. And it's, it's actually going in one direction now, onto, onto the head. All right, and the more, more electrons are, are being attracted to this head than coming back onto this rod right here. Uh, this rod needs to be about one-fifth or smaller the size of this burner retention head in order to get the proper uh, microamp reading. Most manufacturers have agreed on that. Um, and if you're looking at a pilot uh, flame rectification process, a lot of times this rod is a lot smaller because the, the ground that the flame is touching is smaller. So they're still trying to keep that, that five to one ratio, okay? It's going to get attracted to the larger surface area of the burner retention head right here, okay? Um, and the ionization process of the flame, all right, that's actually making the, the uh, DC amperage, it's making it do some work to try to, to try to flow through and get to the head here. All right, and that's why we have our uh, DC amperage, okay? DC amperage can be read through the grounding wire that's going to the module. Um, and also, the what most people do is, is test right through the supply side AC voltage. You can actually put your multimeter in series and read the DC microamps um, coming through uh, the wire connecting to this. Uh, flame sensor by attaching one of the probes here and and one of the probes to the wire that feeds this and your multimeter is in between those in series and you put it on microamps DC and then you can read while the flame is running your DC microamps and that reading is typically somewhere in the neighborhood of 3 3.2 to uh, to 10 microamps Okay, but you just got to make sure that you have a good ground to your furnace and no potential voltage is on this ground. There's no potential voltage between the ground and the common circuit, okay, because that can mess up how the module uh, reads that. All right, but anyway, uh, that flame process, the fl you know, voltage going through the flame is what changes um, the voltage from an AC to a DC voltage, it rectifies it. Okay, so once once uh, the manufacturers figured that out, they changed their process from uh, thermocouple probes, um, which you'd have to have a standing pilot for those, 
into a system like this where you have the you would have the uh, hot surface igniter or spark ignition over here and then the flame would light and then the flame would travel right along here okay and then this would light right along here and then this would light and basically you've proven that all of the burner uh, burners between here and here have lit by having the hot surface igniter or a spark ignition here and the flame rod sensing the flame over here because there's no way for the flame to have got over here except for by through all of the other burners because you could have up to six, say six on a residential light commercial um, heater okay uh, but uh, anyway that's how it works and uh, hope you enjoyed yourself we'll see you next time at AEC Service Tech channel